Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen, welcome if it's your first time here and welcome back if you visited before. So today I am really pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Um, you might remember in the last video or that might have been the one before, um, I said I, want, I fancied doing something flippy flappy <laughs> and I've been watching um, Carol Laws do a little mini series on a flippy flappy accordion journal I think she called it something like that so um I mentioned in her well, you know I commented on her video that I'd love to do something like that but I don't know if I'm brave enough to do it on camera I've got my trusty cup of lady grey here to keep me going and um and then I thought, well, why not? We're going to be working with envelopes and we're just going to have a play and see how we get on and what's the worst that can happen. I will look stupid. Nothing new there. So Carol made hers with new envelopes, but I save all of my junk mail, as you know, and I have got this massive pile of envelopes. So I thought I'd have a go at making this thing with junk mail so I've picked out some envelopes but I've done what I did is I watched Carol's video and I grabbed some envelopes and sort of followed along to give myself an idea of what I was doing so I've got this here it's very scrappy and tatty as you can see but hopefully this will give you an idea of what we're trying to achieve and um if you want to follow along you can now i will link carol's video below because she did go step by step and she went through it several times to make it really clear what she was doing so it was easy to follow along you know i might not get to that point <laughs> mine might be a little more confusing but we'll have a go and see how we get on so we start off with th well, this is what we're going to end up with we've got a flip on the front here and a flip here and then this is going to be our front cover and that that opens that way and then these bits all flip out in the middle and there was a signature there then we fold that up and on the back cover we've got another envelope that flips that way and an envelope that flips that way and then from the back this is the back cover this opens this way and there was a pocket here on the back of the front cover and there was another signature somewhere but we don't need to worry about that right now we're, we're just going to concentrate on this base and obviously it will be all decorated and looking pretty hopefully by the time we finished so obviously if this was going to be a real journal this would have to be trimmed to fit here um and the same there so you can see I've scribbled on this as I'm going along to remind myself what to do and what we're going to end up with so this is going to be my reference as we go along now as I say Carol used new envelopes but I went through my stack of um, junk mail there and I've got three biggish envelopes that I think I can use as my base. And then this last one is a different size, but I think that's all right. I think, I think it will work. And then I've got two different size, smaller ones to go on the back of the front. So I'm gonna put these four envelopes aside for now. And so this is going to be envelope number one and I think um, I might just put note marks on these again as I'm going through so that I know what I'm doing and I try not to confuse everybody so I think this is going to be my third envelope um, and so that was a flap on number two so this would be number one I'm not sure which way around this has got to go yet now the first thing we need to do 
is to open all these envelopes so we can lay them out flat. So I'm going to do that first. So this will be my, that will be the back. And this will be the front. Right, I'm just, I literally, I'm scribbling on this as I'm going because I know I'm going to get confused otherwise. And, I, and I'm, going, I'm hoping that I will be able to do this without confusing everybody watching. So let's get all this pile of stuff out of the way because we don't need that. I'm not going to try and use my choppy chopper on camera. So let's just use the ruler trimmer here. Um, and these are very slightly different sizes as well. So if we um, trim them open, then that will sort that out as well. They will end up the same size. It's amazing when you look at these envelopes, when they come through the post, you just assume they're all the same size. But as you can see, I tidied mine up there um, and they're all completely different sizes. It's unbelievable. So I hope everybody's well. I've got another different setup here this morning, trying something else again. I'm having to do this a few times because I'm on a pace table. It's giving as I'm leaning on it. So um, it's not going through. Right, I think I'm going to have to pause and use the guillotine. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, so as I was saying, I've got another setup here this morning. Um, all, right, so let's just recap. All I've done is literally on these envelopes, trimmed down each side so that they open now. And then um, I know Carol snipped off these little excess bits, so I will do that as well. Yeah, so my last video, I realised that the it was much too shaky having the camera attached to the table. Now I'm hoping that this isn't going to be a problem. But I don't know for certain whether it will be or not. So we'll see as we go. Excuse me. Oh, that might be the one then to use with the pocket. Sorry, I know I keep I'm talking it out loud as I'm going along. But one of these becomes a pocket. So that would be a good one to have as a pocket, wouldn't it? Because then the things could go in there. So let's have a look at our prototype. And so you can see I literally stuck this all together with sellotape as I was going along. So that is the one that has the pocket on the other side there so if I want the pocket to be there that will have to go that way like that so then this one becomes the front so that now is envelope number two excuse Max in the background barking He's downstairs with the radio on and I have shut the door up here so I hope it's not too distracting but clearly somebody is walking past or doing something else that's not allowed. Right so that's now envelope number two and this is envelope number one which is now going to be our back. So this one's the right way round. Sorry, I just need to work this out so that I don't get it wrong. Sorry, I had to take the little um, the little envelopes on the front and the back off of my prototype to work out what I needed to do. So what I have done, envelope number two that is going to be the front, 
is here and that's going to be the pocket once we've stuck that back down. And then this is envelope number one that we started with, which is going to be the back and it's upside down now. So let me write that up the right way. So let's start again so we don't confuse you. So we've got envelope number one and we've trimmed the sides to open it up. We're going to have the flap on the right and the back on the left. So the back, the back's on the left and the front's on the right. And then envelope number two. Again, we've got the side, the the edges trimmed off the sides. So we've got that with the, the back of the envelope is facing us. And we're gonna slide the back of envelope number one into the flap of envelope number two. We're going to stick that. So when we close it back up for our cover, this is our front cover. And when we open the front cover this way, there's a pocket. And when we open it this way, it's going to be the beginning of our book. So I hope that makes sense so far. So I am going to stick that in there now before I make any other boo-boos and forget what I'm doing. Let's just put a bit of stickiness underneath there. This has not glued itself together since I last used it. It's not that long ago since I was up here working, is it? So, as I was saying, I hope everybody's well. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to chit chat in this video because, as you can see, it's taking me a lot of concentrating to um, keep track of what I'm doing. I did fortify myself before I came on camera with a bacon sandwich. And as you saw, I bought myself up a nice cup of Lady Grey to keep myself going. <laughs> how much help all that is going to be, I do not know. But we're going to carry on regardless and see how we get on. So now that's stuck down. So we have, this is our front. When we flip it this way, we have a pocket. When we flip it this way, we're going to have a book. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So then we need to stick num envelope number three on. Um, oh, I didn't open that one up. I need to do that. Sorry about this. Right, I've opened this one up, trimmed off the sides, but now I'm thinking I'm not sure if this is going to work because of the shape. So, um, but I do have a spare, so <laughs> um, we can swap that if we need to. Now, what we need to do here is when we fold that, obviously this is not lining up with the envelope underneath. So I'm just going to make a new fold um, to line that up so that it looks a bit tidier um, because obviously we've got to be mindful when all these flips and flaps and folds fold in on each other um, everything's got to fit inside themselves and you know we've got to have room for things to close and open and what have you so that's all right now, that's got a new fold, that's going to be happy there. So that bit's all right. Now, where are we up to on here? So now we've got to put on this um, third envelope, which is going to fold in um, like that and then like that. So, I'm just wondering, let me just fold this here so that I can tell, um, I can tell if this part will be big enough or if I need to use a bigger envelope. So I'm sure it will all become clear eventually. <laughs> I 
hope so anyway. That's not quite a straight line, Karen, is it? So if that's wide enough, then I can just chop those off. So that's got to go like that and like that. So We could go da 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 da. So that might be all right. room there between those two folds for a signature to go in and that's not going to interfere so I think I think that will work um, so I think I'll just fold these pieces in um, and that would give that edge a little bit of strength. Uh, I'll stick that on there. I'm going like that. That's the back, that's the front. Ooh, I think we'll be all right. So, is there a reason why I can't have a short page there? I don't think there is. That may add a bit more interest having a different size sheet there. So if I stick those flaps down first, um, as I say, that will just strengthen this a little bit. This is all going to be covered anyway, so you know we're not going to see any of this messiness. So I'll have those there. And then this flap, I can just trim a little bit. So how big is that? So as long as there's... I'll trim that about there. that will all be covered so let's go for it and stick that down I hope this is making sense to you oh, I haven't got my mat underneath again now this is a slightly different size so I'm just getting it roughly centered um, It's not going to matter that it's a different size. I, I'm, I'm hoping this will all be interesting. Now I'll need to put something over there because that's a bit sticky where it, it was, you know, the sticky part of the envelope stuck that the wrong way really. So let's double check again now what we've got with our prototype. And I hope this is all making sense to you. So we've got our front, which opens like that. Then these bits open out and out. And then this is the back, which 
opens that way and there's a pocket or there will be <laughs> once I've um, stuck those edges down so that's where we are at the moment that all looks good so then let's go back to the front so that we don't get confused and we have our um, extra flippy flappy bits to put on so we're going to have now this was the reason I had these stuck on because I can't remember which way round they went now um, is it that side or that side Sorry, I'm talking to myself, I know. So on the front, that's our pocket. And it's going to open like that. So do I want, I can either have, I think this is how I had it. So we've got a flip there. And a flip there and that opens like that or we could have we could pop it on there and we'd have a flip there a flip there and then it opens like that yeah I think I prefer that so let's do that and obviously you can use whatever envelopes you've got whatever size envelopes you've got you can play around with this and make it work um, I'm not using envelopes that are the same size that Carol used. Um, so I say she had new envelopes and I decided to use my um, junk mail envelopes. It just, you know, it just takes a little bit of fiddling about as you can see to work out what you want to have where and what's going to look good where. Um, now, I, I think Carol decorated, I'm not 100% sure, I have to go back and look at the video. I'm not sure she might have decorated her cover before she stuck her um, smaller envelopes on. So, that may be an issue <laughs> but I've done it now so we'll go with this so we've got a flip flap open flip flap flap flip close open pockets and then on the back we're going to have another flip and a flap so if it opens that way, I think I want, I think I want to do, do I want it that way or do I want it that way? Oh, I think that fits better that way, doesn't it? So we can have that and that or does it and that this this um the smaller envelope on this side is going to need to be trimmed off um so that it fits on there better unless of course ah I'll tell you what I could do I could have a flip there and oops and a flip there oh that's different isn't it and go flip flap oh yeah I think I'll do that I like that right quick stick it down before you change your mind before you do anything wrong oh I'm living dangerously now I'm getting heady <laughs> just going for it so I hope this hasn't confused you I hope you can see what I'm doing and how it's working and I hope I've done it right as well but if I haven't done it right, we'll find out later and um, we will have to, you know, we'll have a workaround. 
and put it right. As I say, I think Carol may have decorated these before she, that's not quite close enough, um, before she stuck the front ones on. So I'm hoping that's not going to cause me an issue, but we can all we can always put it right, can't we? It's a junk journal. So we've got that one there. And we're gonna have this one there. I am feeling stupidly proud of myself for getting to this point. <laughs> So, now I haven't decided yet what um, papers I'm going to use to decorate this, what theme I'm going with or anything. I'm just going to go and have a rummage through all my digi kits and choose something. So when I come back next time, we'll start decorating. Well, look at that. I think we've done it. So this is how it's going to work we have a flip and a flip this is our front cover we're going to have pages there this flips out this flips out we flip it all back in we close the book and we have a flip and a flap and we have a pocket <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I did that. Now, these might become annoying with the flippy flappy bits. We might need closures on these, but, you know, we'll we'll get to there. We'll get to that. So I hope that all made sense to you. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I will link Carol's video below, as I say, and I will come back next time and we'll start decorating. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's lovely to have you along. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.